lights are on, camera, hat. Okay, Hills Have Eyes 2006. Um, it's been a while. Hopefully they still remember who I am. Daddy. That's weird. There's no one saying that. It's okay. Daddy. There's no one talking in the room. There's no one. Daddy. There's no one here. Daddy. The Hills Have Eyes 2006 stars Aaron Stanford, Kathleen Quinlan, Vanessa Shaw, Emily D. Raven, Dan Bird, Robert Joy, Ted Levine, and is directed by Alexander Aja. You guys do not want to know how many takes it took me to get that shit right, okay? If Aja's name sounds familiar to you, he's directed quite a few horror movies, like High Tension, Piranha 3D, Mirrors, and Horns. I actually think that Mirrors is a criminally underrated horror flick, and it's definitely worth a watch. Guys, this video isn't about American remakes of J-horror. Let's get into this review. I want to start this video out with a little bit of a public service announcement. This film is not for everyone. This is a brutally violent picture. If you still want to check this movie out, okay, but remember, I warned you. I would admit to all of you right now that I've never seen the original Hills Have Eyes. Nope, not even a little bit. Sorry, Wes. So needless to say, I'm going into this one with a little bit of a clear mind. Now, even though I haven't seen the original, I've heard one of the weakest parts of it was its characters. With that being said, that's definitely not the case for this remake. It puts the lotion in the basket. It puts the lotion in the basket. It puts the fucking lotion in the basket! Ted Levine, aka Buffalo Bill from the Silence of the Lambs, owns his role as the Carter family leader, Big Bob. Aaron Stanford as Doug, though, I actually have a small story about the first time I watched this film, and I want to tell it to you. You guys got time? You got time, right? You got time. I remember that my family rented this movie shortly after it came out. I was like 16, 17, and I also remember that Doug was kind of a bitch. Then the third act hit. Doug actually becomes quite the badass, guys. If you watch this movie for anything, it's the third act. It's brutal, tension-filled, and, well, awesome. Back to the characters, though. The other characters in this film serve their time, and they really make you believe they're part of this tight-knit Carter family. I can't not talk about the mutants. These guys are chilling. They aren't your typical mutant baddies. There's no giggle boxes here. Well, maybe one. These killers actually remind me loosely of the killers from the Wrong Turn franchise. You can't really judge these guys from the way they look, because they have a plan and it's deadly. The score is top notch and brings a western vibe to the Hills Have Eyes remake. I was happy to see that it was partly due to the involvement of Tom and Andy. I really love their work in the Resident Evil Afterlife and Retribution films, and they did not disappoint here. Maxine Alexandria's cinematography actually reminded me a lot of Daniel Pearl's work on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. It was dry, crisp, and stifling. I also have to give props to the editing of Baxter. The transitions in this film seem seamless. If you haven't watched the behind the scenes features on this Blu-ray, you wouldn't know that a lot of these scenes were shot in Morocco. I have to praise Alexander Aja and his crew. This was a remake that was made with love for the original and a desire to do something new with the material. The amount of one take practical effects in this film is staggering. Seriously guys, you need to watch the special features. And then, guys, I'm going to have to give The Hills Have Eyes 2006 a metal claw. Intense, chilling, and well-acted The Hills Have Eyes 2006 was a brutal and gritty retelling of a classic Craven film. I really suggest that you go out and get this Blu-ray because, one, there is a fantastic making-up documentary, and two, dope commentary tracks. 
One with the director, Alexander Aja, and the other with the original director, Wes Craven. All right, guys, that's it. That's a wrap. That's been my review of The Hills Have Eyes 2006 and my last review in my Seven Day From the Shelf Horror Remake series. What did you think? Let me know down in the comments down below. I had a lot of fun doing these horror remakes, and I know there's a lot I missed, and I probably missed one of your favorite horror remakes. I mean, we have The Stepfather... Fright Night, Fetty Alvarez's Evil Dead, Last House on the Left, Crazies, Village of the Damned, Amityville Horror, and there's even more that I don't own. Don't worry guys, those horror remakes will have their time in the sun. I'll tell you what that means here in a minute. But first, I want to tell you guys that I'm getting ready to start my Underworld retrospective, starting with Underworld. I'm going to be cranking those out really fast because I want to get all those done before I go and see Underworld Blood Wars in theaters. So the next video on my channel will be my first video in my Underworld retrospective with my review of Underworld. Now let's get back to what I was talking about earlier. I wanted to tell you guys that I'm no longer going to be reviewing horror movies in my From the Shelf series. Don't kill me. It doesn't mean I'm done reviewing horror movies. I actually have a plan here. I really love horror movies. I, like, I started out in the 90s loving Jason, and Jason was really the thing that got me into horror, and I still want, I'm even wearing a Ken Crystal Lake t-shirt, yes. I love those movies. I love horror, and I'm not going to stop reviewing those, but there's a lot of other movies that I like to review. So, I'm not going to be reviewing horror movies in my From the Shelf series anymore. And I definitely want to continue doing them, so I'm going to do a new series dedicated solely to horror. That's right, guys. I'm going to be doing a new series of reviews on my channel, and I'm going to call it The Cavern of Terror. It's going to be horror movie reviews of Blu-rays that I already own, theatrical releases. I might even throw some trailer reactions in there. But most importantly, guys, Cavern of Terror is going to be straight horror. Nothing else. Nothing but horror in Cavern of Terror. What's the first one going to be? What's that? You want to know what the first series of reviews is going to be on that channel? Well, I got you guys covered. I'm going to do a certain trilogy. The Hatchet series. It's about to get southern fried around here. I hope you guys are ready. Along with Cavern of Terror, I want to get MKP, the Metal Claw podcast, started back up here in the next year, 2017. Tim and I were talking about it earlier today, and we're really excited to get some more podcast episodes out there. Because it's going to be a new year soon and there's a lot of new metal to talk about. So I want to get the Metal Claw podcast started back up again. Make sure you check out my Facebook group Bluetooth videos because there's a whole bunch of awesome guys out there with some kick-ass content. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd because you know I have them. But most importantly guys, this has been Zach versus the Blu-ray Mountain. Stay metal my friends. <laughs>《The Hills Have Eyes 2006 stars Emily D. Raven》<laughs>